The UAE's conversation starts here. Talk Breakfast with Vivek Sunil and Sobia Khan on Talk 100.3. Busy Thursday talk breakfast for all great reasons uh, from art to the art of hiring through metaverse ye bhi ek uh, technology ki art hai mm. aur isi par hum baat karne wale hain hamare sath hain uh, aus ismail a very good morning to you and welcome to talk breakfast good morning good morning thank you for having me uh, pleasure indeed aus and uh, very fascinating because uh, just in the morning we shared this uh, information that's you know thousands and thousands of people are coming to ua and uh, this is uh, during pandemic and we can't say post but yes of course it's an ongoing thing S- but the technology itself is also progressing with great pace so do you think great times uh, for you to bring this when it comes to metaverse and hiring people through that yeah absolutely i think it's a very very exciting time in terms of where we're going with the metaverse in, in general not only within us as a company but you know the the country itself it's embracing the technology i think the metaverse brings a new dimension into how the world of recruitment if i say in terms of my speciality is is sort of looked into mm-hmm. um it's the ability to go and bring uh, talent from anywhere in the world have them experience a working culture you mm-hmm. know that you know they they can be 5000 kilometers away but still come to an office walk around visit simply by wearing a you know um, VR, uh, headset. vr headset and that's yeah. it so it's a uh, it's a very exciting time indeed. it looks also fancy but you know you are the director at mark ellis uh, if you could tell us a little bit about uh, the company mark ellis sure so we are a specialist recruitment company uh, we specialize in it and technology in general mm-hmm. so we are always working in the forefront of technology always working on the latest technologies which is why we were aware of the metaverse i would say a while back you know when it was initially up and coming and right, things like this right. and um we specialize uh, predominantly in the uh, i would say the banking sector so we work within you know our clients are mainly banks in the sure. country here mm-hmm. and we supply them the IT side of the banking world which okay. is you know in the in the back end you can say people mm. don't see <laughs> so let's go a little back uh, it's all more than a decade now or you know 11 years since you've been here how did you end up here and at that time did you think that you'll be seeing these exciting times when it comes to you know technology of metaverse i mean as a business we've been in the in the industry for a long time even back in the uk so we're we're you can say the company's originally from the uk but we've always specialized in the gcc sector so okay. when we sort of um, entered the UAE market mm-hmm. we bought our experience from from the um UK mm-hmm. but we're also um experts in the region so we are able to understand how people think where business is going how you know mm-hmm. a lot of advantages for us in that sense and that's helped us to ad- adapt to the technology needs of the the country right and when we talk about adaption uh, adoption uh, what happens is you know big mnc's they are the first ones to jump but then small and medium enterprises they somehow you know lag behind how important is it for all sectors to adopt this uh, new strategy i think it's actually probably more important for the smaller companies because they can actually really showcase their culture a lot a lot of big companies you can go on the internet and research and you'll find a lot right. of things about them whereas right. the smaller companies you can't really see mm. who is you know wh- who they are exactly. what they do what's their culture like exactly. and i think this is key you know being able again to put on that vr headset and visit a sme business which is not very well known but they're doing very well mm. and they can experience that culture and meet people working within the business because mm. i could put on that vr and meet someone and actually show them what i'm about and what i like and how i sound and how i talk with my hand gestures wow. all across the metaverse and you've been using it uh, and is it how rolled out already yeah. it's uh, well i would say, so we have a live office which mm-hmm. is you know people can visit from anywhere in the world and it is an exact replica of the office we have so it's it looks exactly <laughs> oh, the same oh. same room same furniture same everything wow. but it's still in in there's a lot of development to to sort of work on mm-hmm. and and make sure that it's actually Uh, as useful as it can be the mm. technology is fantastic i mean it's it's really exciting so just for my understanding like it's a recruiting company so you interview people through metaverse and when you have the office so you show them that you you're going to sit here for the interview but actually it's for maybe the banking sector and then they are um, you know they get themselves here and then they start with the regular jobs and things like that correct yeah so we're usually the middlemen you can say we're the ones who connect to a company and a, and a person together but 
from the process we follow at the moment, if someone is locally available, then we always invite them to our office okay. because meeting someone face to face isn't like speaking to someone on the phone. Yes. Mm. So this adds another dimension to it where it's not exactly face to face, but it's still, like I said, you can see the interaction, the, the hand gestures and the interaction and you feel almost like you're there and present. <laughs> it's really cool, honestly. When you put on, you, you I can't describe how it so is. So next time the interview would be from your office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can visit <laughs> us in the metaverse. <laughs> Brilliant, you know, the way technology is moved and the way that everyone is compelled to actually get into this strategy as well. And also what we've seen that, you know, the leaders here, they have a vision that it will generate 40,000 jobs, this technology. But what are your thoughts on it and the way recruitment is happening with uh, Mark Ellis. Sure, I, I've seen um, a lot of sort of future examples of how the metaverse is going to be, not only through us, through you know companies that we've sort of been collaborating with and so yeah. on. Yeah. And I can see how those 40,000, if not more, jobs will be created in, sure. in the economy. You know, mm -hmm. it's, the, like I said, the technology is phenomenal. Um, I mean, I've seen someone walk around a city which is full of different businesses where they can actually go in mm -hmm. and purchase items through this digital world. Uh, and then physical, physical real items. Physical real items wow. through this and then they get it delivered. So it's, it's, it's spectacular, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think um, the fact that the country has focused on it and the leaders of the country are very interested in it is very inspiring because they can see that this is the way forward and this is where it's going to... And it's, it's almost like a stamp of authority, you know. It's, it's mm -hmm. something that's going to happen. So is really it exciting. cost effective for uh, companies to you know uh, you know hire this service or is it uh, an extra? I think for the time <laughs> being, it's 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 probably more expensive than the traditional methods because okay. it's something that is still being developed. But as okay. technology goes on, the older it gets, the lesser How price it becomes. How common it is globally uh, uh, for recruitment agencies, you know, to already uh, start working with metaverse? Um, it's not common, so we're the first. So we're, in we're the Middle East in, or, in, or in, in the Middle East, and as far as my knowledge is, in the in the entire world, I don't know any other recruitment Mashallah, company. very good. Yeah, cool. that, that has been involved in this. But I, you know, that uh, to be honest, that the drive came from the government and the fact that they're pushing it and the creation of jobs. So we wanted to be part of this, and we wanted to understand how we could you know, really utilize this platform. It's new. It's fascinating. But uh, since you said you're among the pioneers, or you are the pioneer. So there are always challenges that one has to face. And for now, what are the major ones that you think uh, need to... I think people, regardless of how much we've spoken about it, or how much has been in the news and stuff, a lot of people still don't know what the metaverse is. You know, when you see it, it just looks like a game. I think <laughs> kids know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kids know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they've had road Minecraft and, and Roblox. Mine exactly. And yes. So they, it looks like a game. But then when you actually enter it properly and you start to understand it, you see the potential of it. And I think mm. we are at very early stages of it, mm. you know, being understood by people. So, that's so what can be done, uh, Aus, to you know encourage more people that fear factor where they just want to wait and watch till everybody because there's you know category of people some uh, make it happen some you actually watch that how it happens yeah. and some are in the process of so so globally there are 400 million users on the metaverse Whoa. already so it's it's already quite so the transactions are already happening no the, I mean not things uh, there are things are happening there are things not happening but okay. in terms of users people experience and people mm. meeting each other I mean Very Things happening. Weddings, well, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> so, so you know, there are there are already a huge number of people that are there. And to be honest, for us as a recruitment agency, we saw that as a as a great thing as well because it gives us a, a pool of talent mm -hmm. that nobody else has access to. We can go and see, you know, a percentage of those 400 million people that might not be active on the regular tools that we use as a recruitment agency mm -hmm. and that gives us a broader and a bigger talent pool to give to our clients so no no Aus, you mentioned that you know uh, the main clients that mark ellis has is banks and the it support and the recruitment happens but what are those sectors where you think that probably metaverse strategy won't work or you'll have to see the person face to face are um, there any industries are there any Listen, I've just recently heard of an, an operation happening through the use of the VR technologies. The it's not doctor operation? Yeah, do a proper doctor operation Ooh. through the use. So, to be honest, I don't think there is a, anything, anything that, that you can't. I mean, you can. You, the, the idea behind it is to connect people. So, any role that requires or any profession that requires people to be connected. I think wedding is one where you need to have the bride and groom together rather yeah, than uh, one. <laughs> yeah, but then it what depends. about the food? <laughs> what about the food? How would you present that in Metaverse? 
That's a good. That's, <laughs> that's a good. That's a good question. So having having. Uh, well, you never know. You never know. That, you never know honestly, yeah. I, like I said, I can't explain it as much as if you were to actually wear those VR headsets and you go in, mm. you will then understand how things can really be turned from reality into a virtual world, but they feel as in their reality. This is just the beginning. Just the beginning. So, for example, if I'm somewhere in the world and you want to, you know, have uh, the interview conversation with me, so I need to have the VR. The tools has to be there, and then that's how uh, you take it from there if you want to have the overall experience then yeah you need the vr headset but you can actually access it from your computer on a, on a website and then you can go in and you sort of see it as a third person view mm. so rather than you being immersed in and actually being the person that you know sees from the first hand right. you'll see from third third person view you know Oz, don't you think that you know the technology is moving really fast because we just got used to zoom calls <laughs> and teams and now we are wearing headsets isn't it moving really fast i've been in the technology industry although as a recruiter for such a long time but it changes every day so <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every day there's a new type of technology there's a mm. new type of uh, skill that's required for the technology technology there's a mm. new type of uh, skill that's required for the technology and that um, is it's just a natural thing when it comes to technology it's always ever evolving I think it does move fast but people are clever enough now to adapt to it very quickly which mm. is what tips do you have for people who you know already in the workforce and that learning capacity with time differs how they can easily transit into this uh, you know the next big thing or the future I think just play around with it I think that's the, the the easiest way I mean me personally speaking of myself the only way I first got into it and started is having conversations with people who understood it but more, more importantly I just went on and I started to play around with it and see right. what is the actual exactly. hype about how can it be and and I was really, really um, impressed by what could be done, you know. And work is game, right? If you, you wear a headset, it's like you're playing a game, right? I mean, it exactly. doesn't look like work, right? Exactly. I mean, there, there's features there where you, when, when you wear the headset, you can actually see your desktop <laughs> on, on, on the head, headset and you can use your actual keyboard to type. You can see your WhatsApp messages. You can see this. You can see that. It's 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 a very cool. Um, so platform. initially, this is like super cop, uh, robo man kind of a feeling, yeah. right? Yeah, literally, it's it's the future. I mean, a lot of people will probably say this is just a gimmick or something. You know, temporary. I was about to ask you that maybe initially your family and friends must be not taking you seriously. Then. Yeah, well, at the office actually, because when every time they walked into my office, they saw me wear the VR, so they're like, "This guy is playing games." <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't. I was actually doing some research and stuff the, the interesting thing as well about the this platform and what we're doing is not only the recruitment side so we actually do rec uh, training as well and upskilling within technology mm. we're so, going to talk about that uh, Aus, uh, because heading for this sports break and of course our listeners are welcome if you have anything on your mind it's a rec recruitment company of course uh, getting abreast with the technology as well something we didn't ask you have on your mind please do reach us on 05-8686-1003 you can call us as well it's a toll free number 808-1003 Talk Breakfast, brought to you by Dr. Rowett. Call 055-196-5678. Talk 100.3. Yes, that's uh, Dr. Rohit Kumar's number, by the way. Uh, aisa nao ke aap isi number pe hume call kar rahe hoon aur woh lag kahin aur jaye. Yahaan par hume uh, hum tak pahunchne ke liye. It's 808-1003. We already have a caller. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, awesome. Lovely topic. Um, uh, it was very curious about the whole thing and I'm so glad that you got it up. Mm. Um, if it's all right, can I proceed with a question? Please, please go ahead. Please, please. Aus is all oh, ears okay. and ready for your question. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, so uh, every technology really comes up with a boon or curse, you know, and quite often what happens is that we realize the, uh, the, 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 the side effect, would you say, uh, much later after it's been launched. How do you think we can actually uh, educate ourselves uh, about it before we decide to get into it so that we know that, you know, too much of this could cause this, too much of that could cause that? Um, just, I hope my question is clear. I'm yes, just trying to when we use too much of WhatsApp, we get this, you know, pain on our thumb. For example, you know, yeah. we watch yes. too much yes. of uh, social media, it corrupts our brain. So, yeah. Mavish, are you talking yeah. about the uh, physical disadvantages, uh, like using Mentally, it or depression. otherwise? Uh, the adverse effects. Mm -hmm. Adverse effects exactly. in because, yeah. overall, in yeah. I think yeah, I, I was... Generally. I think I was one of the people, first people that probably asked this question, how would it affect, you know, sitting in a room wearing a, a, a virtual headset and just 
trying to work or whatever but I think it comes through uh, you, you'll probably get used to it after a while and it's not something that you would use constantly I mean I, I would never recommend you wearing a virtual headset all day long and uh, because is it as heavy as a helmet uh, <laughs> after some time no it's, it's I mean, very light it's oh, yeah. yeah it's 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 quite heavy actually it does it does it can get know, lighter you can feel it it can get lighter and I think technology will get there where sure. it, you know the, yeah. the, the advancement of remember these. those big uh, brick like phones <laughs> yeah and it imagine he, yeah. <laughs> exactly you had to carry it with your hand you know, yes so in the box and <laughs> the briefcases and all so But yeah maybe she has a good point though yeah no absolutely I think um, she, it's a very good point how do we adapt to it how do we get our bodies to it and or I be th- prepared for or be prepared yeah. for it and I think it will be something that you know in the same way you mentioned whatsapp now where you you know that okay i've had enough of this now i don't want to touch it for a couple of hours or whatever it will be the same it would just it's just an adjustment phase that we would have to go through yeah my wish is you're convinced yeah 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 <laughs> i am but then it would be amazing if the experts from the same field could really also advertise or market this because uh, totally we have to even take care of uh, because it's in our hands you know future is in our hands and then it really depends on how we are actually portraying it to the client you know mm. what i mean to say uh, selling it to the market thing in the mind selling is very easy but really making sure that it is a long lasting good impact right uh, uh, it, it is important as well selling it confidently mevish what uh, industry are you associated with oh my god uh, you know i'm talking gently about everything like you know you sooner you see the kids are going to adapt to it so sooner that you know right. how are you going to mm. how do you, how are you going to uh, you know uh, you know contract it there how are we uh, supposed to manage it there and then because now that we are only learning mm. and the expert in this field should also you know come up with the idea responsibility of, you know, right absolutely yes, this uh, is where mm. i'm coming from this Mavis, is where i'm coming from do, do you do uh, yeah. do you do yoga <laughs> I am a Muslim so I do meditate, <laughs> meditate and I do pray and I do do all of that but you see uh it's not about just yoga it's just that you know how badly we've seen how TikTok TikTok or WhatsApp or Instagram it's a rabbit hole once you get into it hmm. to come out of it is very And you're compelled to be enough. there as a business as well to advertise to get more revenue We got your point, Mevish. But what uh, Oz is saying is something interesting. So, so the the reason why I asked if you do yoga is because you can actually do yoga on the metaverse with other people from <laughs> around. <Uh-ha>. <laughs> so you can exercise and you can move and you can do all these things. Right. And, you know that uh, from a health point of view, you can actually be more active. Like while you said, every to... industry is going to benefit from 100%, it. A hundred percent. A hundred. You can actually really do a physical workout. And I, I can travel without even having uh, an off uh, from my workplace. Yeah, you can go and see. You can go and see the world at your desk. <laughs> <laughs> Navish, thank you so much for your call. Thank you. Have a, so have a good day. Uh, but uh, since she mentioned that, I always uh, would wonder when it comes to, uh, you know, the metaverse technology, the effects psychologically, because it's you, you are tapping your imagination. Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, it will have those effects. So that's one place I always want to know that as a human being, how it would affect us psychologically, because you're not actually there, but your mind, you're, you're faking it uh, and you're making it at the same time. Correct. Th- that's one thing I would always was intrigued to know uh, that how. A hundred percent. I think um, even when you're wearing the, the headset and taking mm-hmm. it off and realizing where you are, I think that will have an impact as well. But as humans and as users of this technology, we need to be mindful of you know and and be aware so always keep aware that okay this is you know this not is real. not real this is artificial we <laughs> cry watching movies we know it's fake it's like 5d <laughs> cinema 7d cinema where we get those senses the water sprinkles the wind <laughs> yeah. comes probably that's the next uh, level yeah probably i mean i mean look like i said that this technology in itself is is still in its early days and i mm. you know just looking at the type of projects that are up and coming and things like that i think it's going to go you know to, s- to a next level can you tell us that will common sense will be still common i hope so <laughs> <laughs> phones will get more smarter I hope people so. will depend on i think but even phones won't be as needed as as before because like i said when you wear this uh, virtual headset uh-huh. you can use your phone virtually so you right. can you know, tap on your number call you will be able to speak you'll be able to so do so now it. eye doctors need to keep a check <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah so that that's that is a, one drawback a, that we could experience yeah <laughs> <gonna> physically <laughs> It's going to be an industry that's going to do really well. <laughs> We are squeezing the talent the complete talent of a human being right, existence. It right. is fascinating but it's always nice to be prepared as well. And yeah. I think people who wear those 3D glasses and you know watch a 3D movie not many prefer because they say that you know their head probably 
swings. I mean, you know, it gives them a headache. Uh, all these uh, physical problems occur initially. I think, so, uh, from a first-hand experience, when I first wore the uh, virtual reality headset, I did get a bit dazed, you could say. Oh. Um, you know, motion. How sickness. long did you use it? Um, well, I've I've been using it for a while. Initially, now, but in, in in general, I would say the first couple of days. Every time I wore it, mm. after a while, you feel motion sickness. But then you get used to it because you start to know where you Your how body you can get, turn, yeah. where, you know, and and not good. affect yourself. So. Very good, very yeah. cool. But um, what are the future projects with you and your company if you are a pioneer i'm sure that uh, you know reaching at that place and then maintaining it i'm sure you have some goals some future plans if you can share that and yeah, if it's not too early i think no no i think one of um, the the thing we really want to achieve out of the metaverse is allowing people to gain experiences from work you know through the metaverse mm. so for example if i want to know what it feels like to be a, a radio presenter mm. You know, how, how can I go to a radio, uh, a broadcast station and mm. sit down and experience this type of thing? If I want to experience how to, is to, uh, to be a doctor, Got can it. I go to, uh, you know, d- see what a doctor's life is like? Fly a plane or Fly pass a, your driving test? Exactly. And bec- <laughs> absolutely. And because the, the technology is there and because you immerse yourself into mm. this world, you can actually really wow. experience, you know, different professions. And buy what you land and... Do what not? Uh, exactly. <laughs> well, there, there's there's land being sold for millions already right. because people can see the the potential. Yeah. But I think from a, especially the the younger generation and the people that you know at, at uni days where you think, what's next for me? What do I want to study? What do I want to become when I graduate from uni? Mm. I think people at that stage when th- if they're able to experience the Correct. working culture, they will know what they want and be more enthusiastic about and studying proper it. knowledge, what is that you're going to expect. Exactly. Oh, this is super and step, And new right? ideas, exactly. are, I guess. Brilliant. Yeah. If you can elaborate a little more about the training that, uh, you know, takes place. Sure. So, so again, so as, as a company, we are a recruitment company, but we also do training and we have a training academy specialized in the technology world. Mm-hmm. Um, I think uh, before COVID, pre-COVID, we were doing it on site so we would have people in a room mm. and and you know training and so on so from day one people are getting used to the future correct so th- this was a traditional way and then after covid obviously it became we had to do it virtual, remote virtual yeah. so all over th- uh, the skype and internet or whatever mm. uh, zoom and teams mm. and then now with with this technology you can actually have people wear the the vr and gather up in a in a room virtually and have the same training they would if it was on site so Super. the experience is more um, realistic on site so Super. the experience is more um, realistic it's more um, cost effective for the cost effective and mm. collaborative as well because I, I, I'm a personal believer that training is all about collaboration and having you know to understand to see people and, and communicate with them and so on virtually on, on or, or, or online you can say on teams or whatever it doesn't really give you that feeling you're just looking at people on a screen and you know it doesn't give you that 100 percent right how people can get in touch uh, with your team and um, you know for the training purposes and things like that. sure so you can visit our website so www.mark-lis.com all our details are there all our contact details are there and we'll be able to or uh, through our uh, social media accounts which is mark ellis insta uh, which That's is easier. on Instagram. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, people can visit us and have a conversation with us and, and speak to us about anything they want. We'll and um, Aus, before, uh, you know, we let you go, what else you would like to share with listeners already getting used to this technology who are, you know, taking one step at a time as well? Yeah, I think embrace it. I think it's really something cool. It's really something that will be the future. And I think the more you get to learn about it now, the more you'll be advanced in it in the future when everybody starts to understand how effective it's going to be. So really just embrace it and, and, and enjoy it. Nice, really nice. See you with the, in the metaverse next time we meet. 100%. Yes. Awesome. We'll invite you to our office. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank I was uh, Ismail uh, with us and of course uh, taking you into the third hour of Talk Breakfast. A very good morning.